Assalamualaikum and very good morning to my lecturer and my audiences. Today, I would like to give a speech to inform about importance of knowing other cultures. This is because some of Malaysians rarely to see other Malaysian culture. With so many varied ethnic cities, languages and faiths, Malaysia is remarkably diverse nation. The cultural practices of each ethnic groups for bears have largely been preserved. Since there is such a wide range of lifestyle, beliefs and values, Malaysian, Malaysian society can accommodate them all. Since every culture has its own traditions, it is important to respect those of other cultures. However, there must be some people who are unaware of peninsula culture. In the Malaysia, we got many cultures and the three main races is Malay, Chinese, and Indians. Knowing other culture is important. The three main races, Negreto, Senoi, and proto malays can be found in Peninsula Malaysia, which is home to Orang Asli. With 32 different ethnic groups, most of whom are Kadazan Dusun, the state of Sabah is home to the largest ethnic group with a variety of dialects and traditions. Although there are 27 different ethnic groups represent, represented in Sarawak's population, the Iban are the majority, followed by the Pedayo, Melanau, and Orang Ulu. Why we need to know other culture? This is because learning the fundamentals of a certain culture might help you become more sensitive to it. It can assist you in avoiding confusion and embarrassment. This is a useful talent for both the profession and daily life. Second, discovering different cultures help broaden your perspective. It is a useful method for learning new knowledge and seeing things from many angels, not to mention you probably will start to think more critically. Making an effort to comprehend people will make you it simpler for you to respect and accept their differences. What are the benefits of knowing other culture? Your understanding of the world improves. There are many different cultures of people in the globe. When it's possible, exposing yourself to many cultures can help you accept and value those who are different from you. Additionally, the more time your kids spend interacting with kids from other cultures, the more they respect and value them. As you can see here, we capture the Kadazan Dusun culture in this picture. It is a traditional Kadazan Dusun dance. For your information, the other races in Sabah also celebrate the Feast of Intensity, which is observed by the Kadazan Dusun traditional. Language-wise, ethnic variances in accent, pronunciation, and spelling have a big impact on how words are written. For instance, the state of Sabah has a distinct pronunciation but retains the same meaning and importance. The next state is Sarawak, where the Iban, Bidayo, Melanau, and other ethnic groups are the most common. But this time, I want to talk about the tradition of the Iban people who have a very rich culture that includes their body of knowledge, beliefs, and value. The diversity of the Iban language, the spirit of cooperation and competition, healed by the cultivation, cultivation traditional events or festivities, arts and craft, and more are some of the key Iban culture categories. Additionally, Regardless or not, they follow Christianity, Ibans continue to harmoniously celebrate their annual festival during the Gawai Dayak festival. In conclusion, we need to study about traditions outside of Malaysia and Peninsula Malaysia. We must go above and beyond to understand other, other people's cultures, down to the smallest action, because every action a person takes may be a part of their culture or tradition. Learning about other cultures is incredibly, incredibly costly to human nature. I hope knowing this will, will help you learn more about various cultures. Assalamualaikum and have a good day.